Welcome back viewers. I'm Dr. Rex and welcome to Health Concern Channel. In today's video, we will be talking about the 11 foods you should never eat when you are Euro trademark symbol re-pregnant. But before we begin, kindly use some of the time to subscribe to this lovely channel and leave us a like on this video to support the channel. Thanks for doing that, now let's begin. Pregnancy comes with a mix of emotions while full of excitement at times it can also be quite scary. There's usually a list of things you need to stay away from in order for your baby to be safe. Let's focus on your diet for this video. Today we're going to discuss foods you should avoid while pregnant which seafood is dangerous. Should you continue with your caffeine addiction? Wait, I have to stay away from certain meats. We're talking about all that and more. Number 1. Raw meat. Meat is loaded with essential nutrients that are great for the fetus but you have to make sure it's cooked properly the quality of the meat will dictate its safety. Raw meat can put your baby in real danger. Bacteria like salmonella can make it go bad, this will cause toxoplasmosis. This doesn't mean you completely remove beef, veal, pork, poultry and seafood from your diet you just need to cook it properly. Remember to cook your whole cuts at 145 degrees Fahrenheit. You will turn it up to 160 degrees for ground meats like hamburgers and 165 for chicken breast, cold meats are fine as well but they have to be cooked perfectly. What's your favorite kind of meat? How do you like to cook? It sound off in the comments below and start a conversation with our health concern community. Number 2. Deli meat. All you smoked turkey lovers and honey baked ham eaters must be confused. Right about now you need to understand that deli meats can be seriously contaminated. By a bad bacteria called Listeria. You know how nutrients are transferred from mother to the baby through the placenta. Well, bacteria also goes this way as soon as it reaches the baby's system it starts doing harm to them. It has the potential to enter the unborn baby's blood and even cause a miscarriage. If you're a lover of deli items this poses a problem you need to be cautious. If you're going to still eat them remember to reheat hot dogs, luncheon meats, cold cuts refrigerated patties, and meat spreads until it's steaming hot. This will kill off the bacteria and make it safer to eat. Number 3. Fish with Mercury. Fish is a great source of protein and omega-3 fatty acids but when it comes to mercury it can be toxic for your body. A few fish like swordfish, shark mackerel, and tilefish cause developmental delays, metabolic problems, and brain damage in unborn babies. Can tuna has a similar amount of mercury than regular tuna but moderation remains the key. You should also avoid fish that can be served as sushi they may have higher mercury levels. The takeaway is to avoid certain fish that can harm your baby without you realizing. Looking for answers in all the latest health and wellness news. Hit that subscribe button and join our followers. Stay up to date on all our great health concern content. Number 4. Smoked Seafood. This is another food that should be off limits for pregnant females. Smoked seafood remains one of the worst foods for expecting mothers. The refrigerated section of your grocery store can have smoked seafood labeled as kippered, jerky, nova style or even lox. All these foods should be avoided due to listeria. Yep, you can find it in seafood as well. However can smoked seafood typically found in the deli section is safe to eat. If the seafood you're eating has been served to you on a dish make sure it's been cooked properly. If so you should be in the clear heating the seafood will kill off the dangerous bacteria. Number 5. Eggs. You and your baby need extra energy to carry on through those 9 months. Eggs have a bunch of vitamins and minerals that are essential for making your baby healthy they also lower the baby's chances of having brain or spinal cord disorders. So if these are the effects what's the big deal? Well, like other foods on our list the eggs have to be cooked the right way, having raw or semi-cooked eggs can really hurt again you need to worry about salmonella. This infection can cause the mother to experience fever, bloating, abdominal cramps, vomiting and headache. Miscarriage, preterm birth, and death of the fetus can also be side effects. 
If you plan on making Caesar salad, dressing mayonnaise, ice cream, custard or eggnog just skip using the raw egg. Commercially available products and restaurant dishes will have pasteurized eggs in their recipes which makes them much safer to eat. Number 6. Raw Shellfish. Pregnancy does funny things to your body and food cravings are one of them. Having an extra pickle slice is safe but if you're having uncontrollable oyster cravings you need to watch out. Generally shellfish like oyster, clams and mussels can be enjoyed raw. Your body's immune system becomes weak during pregnancy this leaves you vulnerable to food poisoning and infection. Remember to fry, broil, bake or boil shellfish if you have to eat them. Cooking can prevent algae-related infections related to red tides. Take extra precautions and make sure you buy the freshest shellfish. They should have completely closed shells and smell like salt water. Remember to keep cooked fish away from the raw containers in the fridge should be wrapped with plastic or sealed up. If you're cooking with shellfish be sure to wash your hands from time to time. This will get rid of the bacteria that may have latched onto your fingers. Number 7. Cheese. Attention all pregnant cheese lovers we're sorry if we've broken your heart, this is just another 9 month sacrifice you'll have to make. Soft cheeses generally don't use pasteurized milk. This increases the chances of listeria. Now if you live somewhere like the United States it would be difficult for you to find a cheese that's non-pasteurized. You should still be careful listeria could linger in pasteurized milk as well. Make sure you read the back of the product. Before buying cheese, look for the label reading made from pasteurized milk cheeses. We eat on the regular like cream cheese or cottage cheese are extremely safe so go ahead with those. Number 8. Unpasteurized milk. I know we just mentioned it but it deserves its own quick little entry on our list. Unpasteurized milk can also increase your chances of being infected by listeria. This makes it so much more harmful for your baby. This is why you should only buy store-bought milk. Number 9. Freshly squeezed juice. How many of you chug down glasses of freshly squeezed juice thinking that it's healthy just because it doesn't have any added sugar? Well, you thought wrong. Drinking freshly squeezed juice can increase your exposure to salmonella and E. coli bacteria. There's a special kind of procedure that juices generally undergo before they reach the grocery store aisle. The more bacteria is in your juice the higher chance you have of getting food poisoning. Number 10. Caffeine. If you're a caffeine addict going 9 long months without it can be a hard task. Going cold turkey right away is probably the best but if you're unable to do so 200 mg a day should be your limit. Avoid it completely in the first trimester as coffee can eliminate fluids from your body that can be dangerous if the water level around the baby drops too low. Caffeine can enter your body through other tricky foods like soda chocolate, energy drinks and even types of medicine. So if you have 200 mg you can easily go overboard with just a piece of chocolate. Having too much caffeine during pregnancy can be linked to premature birth, low birth weight and even withdrawal symptoms in a few infants so it's best to avoid it altogether. Number 11. Alcohol. This is one of the most important entries on our list. Stay away from booze. Pregnancy can pose problems for routine drinkers, if you're unaware that you're pregnant a few drinks can hurt your baby. Stay away from alcohol for the entire length of your pregnancy. Unlike caffeine there is no safe amount of alcohol to drink when you're pregnant. It can cause brain damage, birth defects, delayed development, and learning disabilities for your child. Mothers who drink a lot may have to deal with fetal alcohol syndrome with their babies. Kicking your favorite foods often feels like an impossible task, there's always going to be a list of foods and drinks you shouldn't have. Which foods did you avoid in your pregnancy? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for your time, don't forget to subscribe and like the video for more contents like this one. Bye for now.